Safety.tv. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're getting to the business end of the tournament now. Semi-final time. Fishwick United from Canberra. Sunder Dice from Sydney. My name is Daniel Clanton. Welcome back to our coverage of the Eastern Ultimate Championships. Strong favourites, Sunder Dice. Playing against the dark horse of Fishwick. Definitely a strong outside chance here, but they're going to have to play well. This Sunder Dice team stacked full of talent. Perennial attendance to the main dance, to the final games. They're always in the semis at nationals. So this is a humongous challenge for Fishwick today. to be Fraser Wigney to pull for Fishwick United. They're going to play in the black. Thunder Dice going to play in the white. And Wigney goes flat. Settling underneath it is Chodos. Denya. Xavier Black clears. Looking to create an option for Walker. Denya. Back to Norton. Over to... Walker. Norton again. Norton breaks to Black, who just gets in front of Young. Black is going to go around. He has to bid. He funnel does very well, and then the low release to Andrews. Fishwick is going to have to come up with something. Norton to Black. Andrews is free out the back, and Xavier Black is just flubbed one. That is a turnover. Helix Smith is going to bring it in to Sandbridge. There's a pick call by Chodos. Sandbridge. Sunday will get this one back. Chodos with a hammer. Well, Zach Chodos, massive um, story of that young man. Long time languishing in the bench club. Fake spike by Norton. So, Fishwick United had their first opportunity in this game. And they gave it straight back. Will Foreman has the disc in hand for Sunder, formerly of this uh, Fishwick club. He'll be very familiar with a lot of these players. Foreman's going to go with a big outside in. The defense is going to come down fast. Dennis Tram with maybe half a sniff. Jackson to Sadiq who rises. I thought he'd gone too early and he just kept floating up and up and up. Jackson out to Shellard who had a great game against Ibeam yesterday. Jackson kicked down the field. So now Jackson, it's way too flat though. Out of the hand, no good. And so Sunder have an opportunity of their own. This is not what Fishwick needed early. They needed to be 
clinical. They needed to convert things. And Lucien Noll gets it down to White over there. And now coming over to Gus McDonald. And Gussie McDonald, he's going to have to bid. It was there for Lockie White. And he just didn't want it. I don't know why. I don't know what. Is he allergic to the Frisbee? Go get it, son. You've done the hard yards. Andrew Jackson then will have another opportunity. Spacing on the horizontal, you can see there, 20 metres down the field. In line with the brick marks, Vic clears. Sanger, coughs some body from White. Hatfield. Hatfield goes with the low release, far across the field to Shellard. Shellard looking for Hatfield, gets the reset. And Hatfield with a big outside in towards Sadiq. Sadiq, who drops the claw. Putting him on a poster is the young Sadiq, and he's gonna flip it. He likes it, the young man, as you would. He has put Lucian Knoll on a poster. He signed it, and then he sent it to his mother. Sadiq has no right to make that catch there, and does anyway. Hatfield, clearly knowing Sadiq and what he brings to the table. Doesn't worry about throwing it into what was tight coverage. Backs his man. Fraser Wigney with the disc. Thunder Dice team. They're going to go on O. It's a Gold Cup here on this very field not a month ago. Thunder Dice lost to Thunder Slice in the final. Helic, big inside out. Chodos is going to settle underneath it. He's going to let it go. It does go out of bounds, but so close. Well read by Chodos. Big yeah. yeah. Will Norton. We'll walk to the brick mark. Yeah. Yeah. Looking fit at the moment. Yeah. Wearing that heavy left knee brace. A horror knee injury a few years ago. Norton is going to reset to Denya. Back to Norton. Sunder. Out of that. Uh, out of that horizontal. There's Andrews. Around to Chodos. Nice throw to Connell. Chodos again up the line. Last time he was here, he threw an absolute ripper of a hammer. Blakely. Sid resets to Zach Chodos. Chodos goes with dominator movement. Blakely cops a foul from Sandbridge. Old Texas Walker. Norton. So Fishwick United now need to play that defense. They need to get that break, Blakely. Through Denya to Chodos. Chodos with a high release. It's too high for Rory Connell. Just gets big on him and the big man rises but cannot catch it. So Francis will go to Helix Smith and Helix Smith is going to go all the way to Evans. Evans, Evans! What a catch! Fishwick United, they like it, the hats are off. Oh, what a start to this game. That is a break. 
Fishwick United up against the heavy favourite, Sunder Dice. Kelly Smith, big throw, only one man was ever going to go get it. Now the pressure swings ever so slightly. Sun Dice must hold here. And they're gonna need to find a break from somewhere. Fishwick, singly ready. Son of Dice are ready. Daniel with his hand in the air. And it will be Paul Daniel who goes to Zach Chodos. Chodos looking for Norton, can't get it. And that's a turnover. Another turnover here. Helix Smith will walk to it for Fishwick. Phillips gets in the lane. Gets underneath. In those red socks that clash ever so slightly. Helix Smith goes up the line. It's covered well. And then now Wobble. And a great fade by the young Phillips. Sunder dice by a life there. And Norton goes with that break inside. Heavy contact. The deuce is still in play. Saved by Blakely. Connell to Norton. And there's a pick. The throw to Denya. There's Jacob Blacklock. Tall, talented youngster. Hung up. Oh, looks on uh, either Chodos or Helix Smith. The Norton. I don't imagine the stall is very high. And there's where's Honey. And his first touch of the disc is uh, an inauspicious one. Going straight through the hands of young Honey. Alex Smith. Fishwick. Oh, it's to Sam Shellard. It's going to drop out of the air. Andrews covering well. Shellard unable to summon some of that Sadiq magic that we saw. This game a little bit scrappy. Denya. Denya to Blakely. Blakely. No, it's Denya just turfing one. I have no idea what I'm watching at the moment, but if I didn't know it was Sunder Dice Fishwick, I wouldn't have guessed it. So Francis. Fishwick. Just need to be conservative here. Just maintain possession, work it in. They don't need to do anything super special, young. Sam Bridge. Pick on Sam Shellard. There's a furtive glance by Sam Shellard. A little bit of, uh, little bit of discussion. Will Norton will get to make up his ground. Sam Bridge. And it's young. Over to Phillips, who cops a hit from Andrews. But all of a sudden, Fishwick, on the second time of asking, maybe the third time of asking that point, they go up another break, 3-1, Sunder in all sorts. They are at sixes and sevens, but for ultimates at five and sixes, it seems like there's players missing from the field. They should have seven out there. And need to find some answers. They're going to call a timeout, try and hold some momentum here. We'll go back to some of those replays. We'll see if we can pull up some of those massive plays we've seen so far. Oh, United, the crowd's here, baby. Bishwick United, all smiles at the moment. Sunder are going to have to go to their leaders. Go back to the Zach Chodos uh, hammer. It's all kinds of open, and then he's good enough to get it to Norton. <laughs> the 
of that spike from Norton, a bit of respect for the disc. And then this was the uh, Evans layout. He has to make up a fair amount of distance here. Nice catch, young man. Put that one on the Facebook profile. Hammer hanging up there a little bit more, I think, than Young would have intended. Phillips is good enough under heavy pressure from Andrews. Andrew, both the uh, Andrews brothers are uh, known for their pressure, shall we say, in the air. It's very much now onto the leadership of Sunder. Experienced players. This is where your experience needs to lead. They need to stand up. As you can see what happens, Grant Denyer, one of the leaders, one of the best players. Turfing the disc. Let's uh, see what happens. Your team goes down. In these Div 1 men's matches, they high level. There's few turns, few opportunities. So it's all about taking them when they arise. It's been far more than I would have anticipated, so Fishwick probably getting the game that they wanted in terms of a little bit of scrap, a little bit of chaos, a little bit of mayhem. The underdog, they always love it. When it's just unclear, it's murky, things aren't really going to plan, and it's an opportunity. So Wigney. pulling duties yesterday and he's got them again today. Sunder have to score here. They cannot fall any further behind. Fraser Wigney. That pull is a nice pull. It's got that great teardrop shape. Blakely settles under it. Chodos. Blakely. Foreman. Norton fakes back into Foreman. There's Blakely. Foreman goes up the line. Bill Foreman underneath. Lucian Knoll. Oh, block. No. Gathered by Foreman. Unbelievable, the disc just kind of planing and spinning in the air. Blakely now on the doorstep. That's the one that Sunder needed. Last point, they find it here. It was a little bit streaky. Alex Young getting a huge piece of the upper line. On Bill Foreman. Don't know how Foreman caught it. So now, Fishwick, they're going to go on offense. So the Dice obviously being uh, one of the two teams from the Sunder Club. Men's club from Sydney. Sunder Slice being the other one. They split the teams. They have uh, internal ways of doing it. But often ending up with two teams of similar ability. So this year it seems that Sunder Dice is notably weaker than their brother team. Hatfield centre the disc to Andrew Jackson. Out to Francis. Francis will go for Hatfield, just in front. Jackson is free. Hatfield won't go to him. Instead, he's going to put something up that is exceptionally speculative, but Sam Shellard, well, Sam Shellard has just put Dennis Tran on a poster. I remember a few years ago, Dennis Tran going over to Fishwick players. He gets a little bit of his own medicine 
two years in the making. Shellard up and over. Mikey Hatfield is playing like he's a feline with nine lives. He's just putting it up in the air and letting his receivers go go do their business. I don't think it's a strategy built for longevity, though. But it's not always going to go your way, so Hatfield is going to have to See if we can maybe pick out some better options because the momentum could easily swing against you. Helic with another call. This one looks like it's going to be out of bounds. And there's by quite a way. Denya lets it go and the brick is called. walking to the brick mark and now Sunder will go to work Norton getting a reset back to Honey Honey goes fast Norton to Xavier Black back to Will Norton and then Honey in space Honey a nice throw but Norton has to bid, actually. It's a little bit far out in front of him. Denya. Andrews goes out. Phillips going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. He gives a big bid to Andrews. It's an excellent matchup there. Norton under pressure again. Bishwick United, this defense standing strong. We saw it yesterday against I-Beam. The I-Beam offense just hitting a wall about halfway down the field. It seems like Sunder Dice are getting the same treatment. Xavier Black. Huge bid to save the offense. Around to Andrews. Maybe they're cracking them. Honey. Takes a moment, takes a breath. He's going to engage Blakely. Blakely. The cuts are starting to dry up. The legs, the lungs. It's all burning. Norton goes to Blakely. There's nothing down the field. Norton. They're completely static. There's Andrews. Honey gets in front. Honey doesn't throw it. He's going to reset it. Norton. Looking. Looking. Denya on the break side. Fishwick hanging on. On their fingertips. Blakely up the line. It's too far by Denya. Paul Denier is not having a game at the moment. It is Struggle Street for the veteran. Fishwick now get the turn. Helix Smith. Sandbridge gets up the line, catches it. Blacklock is free. Goes to Phillips instead. The outcut. Phillips doesn't see it. Back to Helix Smith. They're so close. A fish wick. Unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Shearing in the corner. 5 2. Another break. Fish wick running rampant. You get the sense that this. Sunder O-line were just ground into the dirt by Fishwick and it was pure heart that allowed Fishwick to still keep running, generate the separation and allow them to score. A timeout is called. Unbelievable. This could be an upset. 
It is brewing. Like a fine pot of English breakfast. It is steeping in the teapot at the moment. Oh. I want to see if we can go back to that high Sadiq grab and the Shellard high grab as well. We'll see if we can dig them out of the replay machine. It's uh, There's been some just insane highlight worthy plays. The young catch, catch by young Evans as well was unreal. Yeah. Poor Lucian Null. Sorry mate, you're on a poster. Sam Shellard almost picking the pocket. Two huddles. Cal Sambridge, vocal now for Fishwick. Andrew Jackson also giving some instructions. A little bit of unknown territory actually for both teams. I don't imagine that Fishwick have ever been up in such a way against such a high quality competition such as Sunder Dice, and I don't imagine that Sunder Dice gets down so far against a team such as Fishwick, which this isn't meant as a criticism, but I don't think anyone would have picked Fishwick to head to the finals in the Eastern Championships. Maybe it's just a way in which we get lulled into a false sense of security. We've seen it so many times over the years, the results go in one way after another and you just assume that those results will continue forever. There used to be a day where the two Sunday teams would meet in the national final and there was nothing really that many other teams could do about it. long since changed. Sunder only having one team in the final last year in which they lost. It's been a substantial number of years before we've seen last time we saw a uh, Sunder Sunder final. Chodos, pick it up. We'll go to Lucian Knoll. Lucian Knoll is going to send it to Bill Foreman. Generally a pretty good idea. Foreman tracks it down. Just outside the end zone. Xavier Black drives hard. Chodos. Foreman can't get it. Chodos is going to go back to Knoll. Chodos coming across with dominator movement. Pick down the field. Sunder deep in the red zone. A steadier. They score this. Steady the hand. Shake out the legs. Breathe out the nerves. Chodos. Noel. Goes inside quickly. There's Andrews. That's a score. Sunder. By three. The demeanor of the two teams. Different. Fishwick bringing energy. Even though they got scored on that time. Sunder Dice, ominously quiet. Because as much as I rave on about, is this an upset? Are Fishwick going to be the ones who knock off Sunder Dice? They're a really good ultimate Frisbee team, and uh, let's not be on them to reel in such a deficit. We're nearly 30 minutes gone in this game, so plenty of time left. It's been played at a ferocious pace. Excellent hit out for both teams ahead of the Division I Ultimate Championships, which will be held up the road in late April. So Hodson, by the looks to Paul. And the distinctive uh, short longs and gloves. Hodson goes outside in. See for the first time Mish Phillips on the field. It bobbles over her hand. 
looking. She's going to have to find something here. The stall count will be getting high. He's going to go outside in. This is trouble. It's too high. It's a Callahan. Mish Phillips is thrown to Callahan. Kieran Gilbert benefits. Well, I hate to be right as much as I would love to see Fishwick upset them. It's not going to come via turnovers and And it's not going to come from Callahan's. For those joining us from at home, if you have never seen the sport of ultimate, you catch it in the end zone to score, but you've got to catch it in the other end. Now, if the defense catches it in your end zone, that's what we call a Callahan or a defensive score. They're pretty rare. And as soon as that disc went up from Mish Phillips, your heart sank. It's always that case of, oh no. And Kieran Gilbert, has just benefited. He'll put that one in the record books that time I caught a Callahan. Happens more often for some and it's rarer for those of us who are maybe not as athletic. Oh, Hatfield has misread it. It's gonna roll deep in the end zone. Hatfield has Phillips on this open side. Elects to go into space to Jackson. Sadiq is long and Jackson's gonna reach for him. Sadiq, Sadiq has misread it. Getting drawn underneath it a little bit. Looked like it might have been Conrad Wallace. The one sucking Sadiq in. Sadiq had he just held off a little bit. He would have caught that. It is Conrad Wallace. Uh, we spoke about Bill Foreman being familiar with Fishwick. Wallace was a long time servant of the Fishwick Club and is now playing for Sunder Dice. The break over the top. And now Gus McDonald gets the reset, goes to dominate a movement, does McDonald. Outside in and a pick is called. So this Sunder D line that we've seen little of. It's going to work. They look good. Hodgson will get this. And then Wallace has gone out. It's going to float. Conrad Wallace. Well, in a blink of the eye, momentum has swung back in the opposite direction. Fishwick. Now at fives against Sunderdice. Wallace, such a big body. Big body receiver. Fast. Represented Australia as part of the Dingoes, the Australian men's team. Always going to track that one down. And so... And so... We have a game. Much as I, as much as I, uh, I would have loved to see Fishwick just hold on, go a bit deeper before allowing Sunder back in this game. It is probably a misnomer, though. There was no allowing happening. There's no way that Fishwick would have agreed to such of a fight back had they known it was coming. But such is sport, and such is ultimate. Sometimes, at least you know that's a monster. And Hatfield sit, settles underneath it. The first pass is cut off. Under pressure. Jackson will go to Shellard in double coverage. Shellard in good position. Shellard. He's short of the end zone line. He has to make up his ground. Gets the reset to Sadiq. Sadiq still with it. Engages. Jackson, Sadiq for the score to Phillips who spikes it. Mish Phillips likes it. A bit of intent from Phillips. A bit of a statement. She's here to mix it with the boys. And what a grab by Shellard in double coverage. 
It looked like he was in. And Hodgson just switching off a little bit on on Phillips, giving up the open side score. Six five. Wig need to pull for Fishwick United. Outside in, little high hang in the air. Looks like Chodos to receive. The first pass is cut off by Helix Smith. So Chodos goes to the second read of Wes Honey. Young Honey, under 20. He looked good at Gold Cup. We haven't seen much of him yet. Denya, Blakely, and there's a long throw. Oh my word, Rory Connell. Rory Connell would have had to turn in the Iron Man to go catch that one. Way too much out of the hand. Alex Young is going to pick it up for Fishwick, who are going to work out of a vertical stack. So the Sunder Dice O line, which has looked vulnerable early, it's coughed up a few breaks. This could be another break, and wouldn't that be an incredible reversal? Phillips gets open, but the poach kind of stops the cut. Helix Smith. It's called travel, makes up his ground. Back to Young. And there's a pick down the field. Young just taking a breath. Zach Chodos on the mark. Pointing, establishing the stall count. Young. The break cut by Shearing isn't there. Helix Smith in power position. That one's going to blade over to the left. Phillips is in a good spot. He drops it cold. Connell goes fast. Gets the around to Black. Blake to, Black to Chodos to Andrews. Andrews copping a bit of a bump from Sandbridge. Denya. Black is free, can't get it. Chodos to Blakely, cutting sideways as he often does. Flat throw towards Andrews. Andrews is going to have to grow wings. Another throw away on a deep option. Sunder Dice O-line. A coughing up turns left, right and centre. Well, the defense that has become the offense now for Fishwick. A moment to take a breath. They come out of their come out, come out. vertical. Helix Smith comes to the line. Phillips is going to engage under. The poach from Blakely isn't close enough to change the outcome of the pass. Phillips to Helix Smith with a lazy left hand. He's going to throw another blading forehand. Blakely up big. Huge by Peter Tex Blakely. Andrews. To Dania, to Blakely. Black. Where's Honey? Has a lot of space. Honey gets the reset to Black, opening up the field for this Sunder Dice offense. Jodos will break to Dania. The flow, the bid, Rory Connell. How many times? You can't give them that many looks. They're too good. Sunder Dice score eventually. Very nice catch by Rory Connell. Six, 
Six all the score. This game so tight. I have to say that this is exactly the game that Fishwick wanted right now. Close hard. They're in it. They've got a sniff. Whilst it's valuable as well to Sunder Dice, I think. I don't think that they would have wanted it exactly how it's turned out. I guess say they would love a score line of, say, 7 5. Or even 8 4. Just to be out in front, comfortably cruising, as we often we, we see to see all the time with these Sunder teams. Hodgson with a big outside in. Hatfield catches on the full and gets it in the middle to Jackson, who immediately goes to Sam Shillard. And they need to get a lid on Shillard, who catches it. <laughs> Two pass offense. Sam Shillard is on fire at the moment. And Sunder Dice need to find an answer. Because he is just running past defenders. And nobody on this Dice team at the moment is running with him. Hodson with a massive attempt. Went real early at the back to try and get there. Seven six, Fishwick up. Sunder back on offense. This O line that seemed vulnerable. Last time they were on the field, they coughed up two turns before finally getting the conversion. Opportunity actually, if this Fishwick D line could get a break here, this is give them advantage out of half. Chodos to receive this one. It's a good pull from Fraser Wigney. Norton. Connell. Connell to Honey. Maybe this is, oh, that is not the spark that they need. The young Honey had found himself in space and he's dropped it. Young walking to the disc. Underneath to Rory Burt. Helix Smith. Young. Oh, and under that Xavier Black has come up with it. Looks like they're gonna discuss this. We we don't have any kind of angle on that catch moving away from the camera. Generally speaking, catches at the same time. The offense gets it. Looks probably what happened there. Evans in the contest against Black. Oh, and Evans has just thrown it away. The disc never lies. Xavier Black got that block. We'll note it down as a stat. Punny. Blakely with a loopy outside in. 7 all Galaxy Point. The Sunder O-line again does cough up a turn, but Fishwick United wasteful with the opportunity. And give it back and we find ourselves in Galaxy Point. Well, 43 minutes now, with some 27 to play in this game. a hard one. It's to be Hodson to pull again for the dice D line. You see what uh, if Dice have made any adjustments as to the matchup, who takes Sam Shellard? 
Hudson. Big arcing outside in. Jackson catches on the chest. Shellard out straight away. Seems like Hodson's going to stay with Shellard. Jackson. To Francis. Oh, and that is just a wayward throw. The pressure. Van der Weeden, near side to Varley. Go back to Lucian Noll. Noll goes underneath the arm of Sanger to Van der Weeden. Van der Weeden down to Felix Watson. Lucian Noll. Hodgson with strong hands in front of Shellard. Foreman. Varley in the corner, no. Noll in the corner, no. Hodgson to open it up. And it's just a uh, front cone ultimate. Gilbert the, caught the Callahan. Dice play. They take half. Fishwick United left to rue what could have been. Oh, more clinical. They'd be more. They'd be in front by even more. But this is the game we find ourselves in. This is the situation. We're going to go to a halftime break and be back with the conclusion of this men's match from the Eastern Ultimate Championships for 2022. We are a group of ultimate players, coaches and video enthusiasts. We've worked with the major federations and the greatest events. We're on a mission to make Ultimate huge. We want our videos and live streams to be free to watch. We want to make stories that not only reach you, but also reach people outside the Ultimate community. Like and subscribe, Ultimate TV, the best in the world. Become a member and fund, fund our, our work, work to cover more events in the future and to bring more stories and live coverage to the eyes of the ultimate world and, and beyond. beyond.
Welcome back to the second half. Sunder Dice just taking half, 8-7 against Fishwick United. The story of the first half. You wouldn't believe it. Up 5-2 at one stage was Fish Fishwick. And Sunder Dice have just worked their way back into this game. Demeanors of the two teams were drastically different. Sunder Dice playing a bit of kickball, a bit of keepy uppies. This week, much more business like. In huddles for basically the entirety of the time of the halftime break. And Foreman with a flailing outside in. Hatfield to Jackson, back to Hatfield. Reset is there to Jackson. Sadiq looks off the flip to Hatfield. Now Jackson. He's going to have to do a lot, but it's Lucien Noll. Sees that Jackson is calling a foul. Saying he got held back, pulled back. Felix Watson on the play. So we'll go to the replay here while the players continue to talk. With, with players in close proximity, there's always a bit of contact. I think Jackson's argument isn't going to be so much was their contact, but the contact affecting his ability to go make a play. And it seems like it will be contested. We can go back to Sadiq. So they just will come in on a maximum of six as the store. So Gus McDonald. Gus McDonald on the mark. We'll tap it in. And Sadiq does better on the second one, but maybe the disc never lies. A turnover as Jackson drops it. McDonald. Back to Noel. McDonald with dominator movement. A low one to Bill Foreman. Over there to Watson. On the goal line. Deep in the red zone. Noel goes to his knees to catch that. A nice stag. There's Gilbert at the front cone again. Cuffs a bit of a bump from Phillip. Noel goes around to McDonald. On the far side of the field. Watson and Sunder Dice, 9-7. <laughs> I mentioned the demeanors at halftime and the difference between the two teams. Sunder Dice much more relaxed, Fishwick United much more business-like. In the sense that Sunder Dice, even though the first half was a bit rocky, they're perfectly happy with how the half finished. They were happy that they'd fought back in and that they had taken half to effectively put the game back on serve but now with the break out of half there and now in front 9-7 first time Sunder have been in the lead Fishwick Look for answers. Managed to grab uh, Cal Sandbridge, the captains of this Fishwick team. And the message uh, I got from him was that they're looking to win through their defense. They feel like there is an opportunity there. The other field behind this one, uh, Crank is currently playing Sunder Slice. Crank are down. Uh, 11-6, I think it was, last uh, check. Hatfield, inside out towards Shellard, who, e M. Hodgson is... Uh, I think the vision speaks for itself. Sam Shellard, another goal for the speedy Canberran. M. Hodgson has no answers. They need to adjust that matchup. 
It's either Hatfield or it's Jackson. And every time they're just putting to Sam Shellard who is running away from Sunder Dice defenders, just getting in a foot race with them and beating them soundly. Fishwick now back on defense where they wanted to be. This is where their plans start to come into action. Norton. Over to Denya. Blakely. He's going to get the reset off to Norton, who has a power position. Thinks about the big around to the break side, doesn't throw it. It comes to the near side to Denya. There seems to be a call, a discussion between Blacklock and Norton. Figuring out something between them. There is going to be a contested foul call. The conversation continues between Norton and Blacklock. Norton, a big, strong man. Blacklock is exceptionally tall. Don't think that anything is going to change. So, Denya. Looks to the reset, gets it to Blakely. Norton. Norton with a hammer over the top. Black. I save you, Black tends to do. Definition of a hard worker. Switch off for a moment and he's run. You know, 20 or 30 metres away from you. Was it Evans getting caught on a, a poach, just concentration lapse for a moment. And Xavier Black, so dangerous as a receiver, he will go score a goal. So 10-8. Improved over the course of the day. Doesn't look like there's any rain around at the moment. The sky's breaking up. The overcast that has plagued us for the last two days is breaking a little bit, and there's a tad of blue skies. Hatfield to Jackson. High defense from Dice. High stall. Throw all the way over towards Mish Phillips, who can't bring it in. Phillips, who had gotten away from Dennis Tran. Western Sydney's greatest athlete. And it's uh, Gus McDonald. Lachlan White goes out. Lucian Knoll. It's going to go. Oh, Shellard with a massive beard on Foreman. Noel. And Noel is going to go into triple coverage. Dennis Tran cops a bump from Phillips. Catches well. Tran looking to reset the Frisbee. Looking for Varley, who's covered well. Lachlan White. Lo White to Noel. That's another break. I think we're seeing the moments where Fishwick are losing this game. 11-8, a break. Uh, 
And the noise and energy that was there early for Fishwick has disappeared. Great contest by Phillips. Getting in there and making Dennis Tran make the actual catch. Love to see it. And that close to the goal line, it's just so hard. Sadiq getting caught, flat-footed. Acceleration by Lucian Null. So the Sunder D-line. Hodgson with a disc under his arm on the far left, the short longs and the gloves. Yueng. Just clearing the field. This is going to be a straight up force. Oof. Oh, that's through two. And Jackson is going to go to Shellard. M. Hodgson going for round four. And Hodgson has been shown a clean set of heels again. He keeps getting beat. And at some stage, he's got to make a switch. He cannot keep drawing this matchup because Sam Shellard is hosing him. He's putting him in the shower and giving him a bath. Hodgson is actually leaning up against the fence, down <laughs> to the right. Um, I, I think he's, uh, you can see him to the right of the, uh, the light pole there, leaning against the fence. He's just taking a moment. He has the gloves off and everything, he's unimpressed. So Fraser, Fraser Wigney to Paul. Uh, Wigney to Paul gets played in by Charles. Send it to Denya to Connell. Low throw, gathered well. Andrews will reset the disc, reset the stall. Connell to where's Honey? Honey is going to reset it for the violation. A big collision there. Phillips involved with Evans. And naturally, Dave Andrews somewhere close to it. Blakely, Denya, Denya to Chodos, huge bid by Fraser Wigney, another pick. So the dice set up in this vertical that they've gone with pretty much all day. It's your round to Honey. Chodos, oh, at the edge of his fingertips. To Honey. Resets again. Another call down the field. A pick this time, Rory Connell. It was young, getting hung up. And Chodos looks. Denya. Oh, a high throw. Andrews reads it well. Blakely. 
Denier in space. Honey drives the hole, can't get free. Chodos drifts. Wigney looks gassed. Connell. The Sunder offense is just solidly working away, just chipping away. Nice throw that floats out in front of Blakely. Blakely. Dominator movement. Andrews goes out. Blakely is going to try too much. Alex Smith. Dave Evans is going to go. It's a similar looking throw from before. Oh, and he has just been clobbered a little bit in the back by Connell. Disc always over the top. Evans just running out of gas to go chase that one down. Laid out for the last one. Couldn't get close enough to that one. Jodos. Sunder. Long way to go. Uh, with big throwers. They could cover the distance very, very quickly. Denya in space. Chodos goes across. It's there for it. Haleg bids hard. But Chodos catches with a strong grip. Denya, Blakely. To Honey. Blakely. At least not to go to Chodos. Holds it. Connell. Chodos. Xavier Black. Oh, the, you can tell just the speed is starting to slow. Lots of men, hands on hips, hands on knees. Sucking in the big ones during the, the stoppage. We're closing in on time cap. Only a few minutes left to play. Imagine it's a foul call on the mark by Xavier Black. Chodos. Honey. Chodos. Black. Connell goes out. Chodos. Now creating width to Denya. And there's the around to Andrews. Well, it was a matter of heart. Who wanted it more? Both teams pretty much running each other to a stop. And it was that move to the break side. The Denya throw high to the advantage of Andrews. Twelve nine, the score line. Time cap. About to go any moment. Foreman with the disc in hand. Hudson goes back out on the field. I'd love to see Foreman move across to Shillard. I think that that is a matchup that Foreman. Oh, he has just muscled that a long way down the field. And indeed, it is Foreman on Shellard. Shellard with it now. Oh, it is just popped up. And it's White. Foreman. White. to White. Noel. A loopy throw. Back to Noel. Foreman working off the front of the stack, getting under. Some dice go in. Through Liam Varley by the looks of it. 
I think. I think that is game. The rules as they've been all weekend. I'm not sure if it's changed for the semi-final. So the teams are going to retake the line. Imagine a game to 14. Well, the approach by Bill Foreman on Sam Shellard completely different to Emma Hodgson. And for what seems like the first Fishwick O point in a while, didn't result in a huck to Sam Shellard. Foreman just playing deep of him, forcing Shellard to the disc. by Hodson. Foreman is off the field though and Hodson's going to take the match up on Sam Shellard. Uh, Jackson. Oh big bid by Noel. Francis around to Sanger. Sanger in a lot of space at the moment. Going to reset it to Hatfield. Another big bid, this time by Tran. Hatfield goes to the far side of the field. And guess who? <laughs> Sam Shellard has had a day today. So many court points. Actually, Kieran, Kieran Gilbert this time who caught the match up. And but not close enough. So 73 minutes gone. Fishwick score. 13-10. Gain to 14, I would imagine. Fishwick with a small mountain to climb. Razor Wigney has the disc in hand at the moment and he will pull for the Fishwick D line. Blakely to Norton. Foreman. Black. And Andrews is free and Xavier Black just didn't have the confidence to get it to him. Norton will go inside to Foreman. There's Honey popping up. Honey again. Gives a nod down the field. Likes to reset to Norton and then just gets a re straight, straight away does Honey. He looks so calm for a young man. He's just trotting his way down the field. Andrews gets low to catch that. That's the game. 14-10. We're done here. Sunder Dice. Clutch one out against Fishwick. Who in a blaze of glory went hard early. Got up. 5-2. What a game. So Fishwick will go play crank in this third place playoff. It'll be a Sunder Sunder final for the New South Wales Championships. We'll be back with the very next game very, very shortly. My name has been Daniel Clinton. We'll see you then. Alti.tv.